Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Honda Accord that generation from year 2008 to year 2012. If you have one of those, you need to find where the fuses for the cigarette lighter in the center console is located. Stay with us, we'll explain guys which two fuses you need to check, where you can get cheap fuses and relays, that way you don't waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered in this video today for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have that Honda Accord, that generation from year 2008 to 12, we'll be making video for every fuse, every relay. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Because in the manual, it's not clear what the fuses are for. On those little bitty labels, you have abbreviations that you have no idea what it means. And let's say you're down the road, you need a fuel pump fuse, or you need to find a cigarette lighter fuse because you cannot charge your phone and your navigation doesn't work. Stay with us, guys. And we're going to share videos on that channel for every single fuse and relay uh, another thing every single car guys that we get at our garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything the mechanical videos will be on our main youtube channels right there guys all together we have about 1.2 million subscribers we have helped over 1 million people save thousands of dollars and uh, let me show you something else guys if you need to buy relays fuses at a really good price guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you don't waste uh, time and money guys uh, because some of those could be really expensive you have those special fuses uh, that are specific honda fuses that could be really expensive hard to find and uh we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can find the fuses realize that way you don't waste your money so let's explain now what you need to check here specifically. So for the center console, see red lighter, we'll demonstrate on 2010 Honda Accord here. Fun fact, you have three fuse boxes. Today we'll be working in two of them. You will see why. If we open the interior of our Honda Accord right here on the passenger side, guys, okay, you're going to end up having a fuse box. Okay, well, you have one on the driver's side as well, but we need to check on the passenger side. There is one cover here on the kick panel. Open that cover. You see a fuse box layout that looks just like this one. Now, before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important, guys, to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine. You think it's a good fuse. You put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist, guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses, and how to test relays, guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here guys we're going to see numbers next to the fuses which makes it super convenient here to find the fuse that we need and the fuse that we need is fuse number okay 12 talking about okay that 15 amp fuse here fuse number 12 now we have another fuse in the engine fuse box that provides power to the interior fuse box and specifically that group of fuses open the main fuse box here guys and you need to check here you see you have those multi box fuses, those are special fuses that consist of multiple fuses, guys. Let us show you what they look like quick on top, okay? That's the top view and the side view, they look like that. If one of them burns, we have to replace the whole fuse, that's bad news, good news. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from a good price, guys. But here, if we zoom in, on that fuse right here, you have one and two. Check the right half of the fuse right here. In our case, it's 4M fuse. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.